tonight. Let's go to far off places and search for treasures bright. Come dream with me tonight. Let's build a giant airship and sail into the sky. Let's watch the ground so far below. Let's watch the birds as they fly by, fly so high. Come dream with me tonight. Hurry up, LB. You're slower than Twig's mind. We've got to get to him before Quillor does. I might be able to go faster if I wasn't pulling such a lumpy load. What was that? I said, uh, watch out for the bumpy road. Ouch! Ugh. Idiot! You almost made me drop the Ying Zhu brochure! Oh, gee. I wouldn't want to get the boss's face dirty. It's such a beautiful picture of him. <laughs> Seeing as how he finally turned buttermilk into gold, he does seem, well, less repulsive than usual. Yeah, maybe only ugly. Don't exaggerate. He'll never be that good looking. How about hideous? Mm, still too flattering. Disgusting? You're getting warm. Ouch! What a pain. Perfect! Oh, you sure have a way with words, Eleanor. Don't be sad. Everything will turn out all right. You'll see. Oh, that's easy for you to say. You just got here. Well, how long have you been here? Uh, so long that I don't even remember what it's like to be free. I don't even know where I am. You don't? Well, I know I'm in a cage of some sort. Well, we're in the land of Ying, in the Sorcerer's Zoo. But don't worry, we'll get out of here. You really mean it? You'd help me escape? You have my word. But why? Because to me, freedom is the most important thing there is. I know there is a place out there where I can feel the wind. Once you have known freedom, no bars can hold you in. Freedom, freedom, I once tasted freedom. I was free to feel the sun. Freedom's for everyone Freedom, freedom I once had my freedom Nothing can imprison me For I know what it is to be free Freedom doesn't only mean You can get up and leave Freedom means you can do and say the things that you believe. Freedom, freedom, I once tasted freedom. I was free to feel the sun. Freedom's for everyone. Freedom. Now nothing can imprison me I know what it is to be free To, to be, be free, free. We'll find a way out of here I promise Hey, what's this? What is it? It says Teddy on the floor of my cell. Hmm. He must be getting into personalized cells. 
Ilana? Why, that's my mother's name. Now that's what I call a coincidence. I wonder if the escaped Iliop is my father. Yeah, that's it. Uh, more to the uh, left. Easy uh, now. <laughs> Whoops! I'm getting tired of this. Yeah, why should we work so hard? We're nothing but the sorcerer's personal slaves. Eh, uh, yes, uh, I'm not all that happy about that uh, either, but this wonderful structure we're building, think of the scientific uh, uh, challenge. If you ask me, the real challenge is getting out of here. Yeah, Don't yeah, worry, Jimmy. I've got an idea. Listen up. Oh, my heavens! Look! Here's another one of them octopedes for you. You can put them to work on that gizmo you're building. Mm. Uh, why, yes. Uh, uh, thank you. Grubby, I'm so uh, very pleased you're safe and uh, uh, sound. Uh, tell me everything that's happened. What's happened isn't too good, Gimmick. Teddy's in jail. In jail? That's right. In a cage that's made especially to hold Iliops with all kinds of locks and stuff. They must be real worried about Teddy escaping. Why those barnacle-covered bilge rats? Hmm. Zelza, tell the others to get lots of saws and uh, uh, lengths of rope. Aye, aye, gimmick. Now, Grubby, here's what I want you to uh, do. Never tried, sorcerer. I've come for Tweed. What in the name of Grundo is a Tweed? That is a Tweed. The amazing troll Grunds with no brain? Precisely. You want me to give you my star attraction? My greatest weapon against my brother's ludicrous wizard world? In a word, yes. We'll try this word. Never! Not at any price. Listen, you pathetic party trickster. How would you like to be the next mindless attraction in your own zoo? In that case, you can take Twig. In fact, you can take anything you like. All I want is Twig. And that. There. That should do it. Ready, your foulness? Of course I'm ready, you fool! Now get on with it! <laughs> yes, sorcerer, yes indeed. This will do very nicely between my lightning power and Tweed's buttermilk form. I will be the undisputed supreme power in all of Grundo. <laughs> ah, Tweed, how lovely to see you. Hello. Goodbye. Now then, Tweed, it's time we gave you back your memory. Temporarily, of course. Gee, thanks, Mum. I'll promise I'll be a good little boy. You'd better be. Now stand still, and I'll zap you with the reverse memory eraser. Oh. Huh? Oh. All right, you overstuffed blob. I'll show you who's Supreme Oppressor. Wrong, Tweed. Huh? I'm about to show you something. Come with me. What? You mean my gold formula works? I'm rich! Yahoo! No, you can't treat me like this. I'm a full-fledged genius. My recipe for turning buttermilk into gold works! 
Don't you mean my recipe? Oh. Oh. Huh. That's what you think, Mr. Smarty Pants. Now, now, Tweed. Don't you remember what happened the last time you challenged me? Troll grunts with no brain? <laughs> That's ridiculous. My brain is as vast as the, the, the Great Desert. And it will be just as empty if you don't give me that formula. Now! Don't keep me waiting, Tweed. You wouldn't dare. If you zap me again, I won't remember anything. And my buttermilk to gold recipe will be lost for all time. <laughs> Foiled by your own device. You think so, eh? You! No! Well, Tweed, what have you got to say now? Do you have a pencil? A cup or two of buttermilk's the way that we start out. Then add a pinch of pepper and a jar of sauerkraut. Another cup of buttermilk. Yeah, let's make that too. A pair of old pajamas, some cookies and a shoe. Cookies? Shoe. Got it. Add the wings of an insect and a little bit of hair. Oh, the eye of a potato and the legs of a chair. A couple of toes of garlic, a finger sandwich, another bit of buttermilk, and soon you will be rich. I will be rich, I will be rich. You'll be rich. I'll be rich. Just a little dash of that, a pinch of this. You'll be rich. I'll be rich. That's all you'll have to do, and you'll be... All I have to do, and I'll be rich! You'll be rich! <laughs> that ought to do the trick. What are you doing? Why is it so hot in here? And what is that smell? It's the delicious aroma of root stew. Well, it smells terrible, and it looks even worse. It's an octopi delicacy. Trust me, your customers will love it. Well, be careful with that fire. The heat's already filling the ship's airbag. Gosh, we wouldn't want that to happen, would we? It's root stew for the prisoners. You guys want a taste? You're missing a real treat. Now, Feej. Good going, Grubby. Yeah. You too, Feej. Yeah, but what a waste of good stew. Quickly now, run to the roller coaster. You'll be safe there. But what about my friend Teddy? Don't worry about me. These are my friends too. They'll help me out. Now run! Everyone to the roller coaster! I'll fix them. <laughs> Not bad, huh? A perfect triple reef knot. Sorry we can't let you out, Teddy, but there's too many locks and stuff. I know, Grubby. They really don't want me to escape. Well, you're gonna. We're all busting out of here. It's too bad, though, just when the food was getting better. Well, what's the rope for? You'll see. I'm bored. Even this lightning business is losing its thrill. Sorcerer, think of something to entertain me. Uh, hmm. Uh, yeah, hmm. No, I do have a new specimen in my zoo that might amuse your vastness. A rare Iliop. Iliop? Did you say Iliop? Yes. They're sort of furry, cuddly little creatures. It's got to be Teddy Ruxpin. Finally, locked up with no escape. I have him now. <laughs> uh, 
I uh, hope Grubby gets here soon. Don't worry, Gimmick. Grubby's a good octopede. Look! Here he comes in now. Hi, everybody. Sorry I'm late. We were worried, Grubby. What happened to you? There was this big pot of root stew, and I guess I sort of got carried away. <laughs> Never you mind, Grubby. You're still an octopede hero. I am? Gosh. Uh, quickly, Grubby, into the uh, uh, car. <laughs> Being a hero is kind of fun. Good luck, young octopede. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So the fools think they can escape, eh? How wrong they are. Sludge, assemble the hench monsters. We're going to attack the roller coaster. They thought they could keep a genius like me prisoner. When will they learn that the great Twig is not to be trifled with? Twig! <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Twiggy! Mommy! Hey, it's the boss! Oh, Twig, you miserable twerp! You're supposed to be locked up in a zoo! How dare you disappoint me! Yeah, we came to save you, and you're already saved. Well, uh, um... Are you okay, boss? You're looking even more repulsive than usual. Of course he's okay. He's just happy to see his mother. <laughs> now give me that gold formula before I clobber you! Gee, I sure hope you got your brain back, Twank. We finally found a use for it. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, where am I? Who, who are you? Uh oh huh? Looks like Tweeg is still the troll grunge with no brain. But then again, I always thought of him that way. Oh, poor Tweeggy. I guess we'd better get you back home to Mommy's. Yeah, Mommy's. <laughs> You know, Eleanor, I think I like them better this way. Shut up and keep pulling! And I know I like it better this way. <laughs> I do hope Robbie made it to the uh, uh, subwater boat. Don't worry, Gimmick. Us octopedes are great swimmers. I hope he's a fast swimmer, too. Here come the hench monsters. <laughs> Avast, everyone! More in the car! Uh, oh, oh, dear. We're not going to have enough uh, time. <laughs> Give up, you fools. Don't you know when you're beaten? <laughs> Well, what's this? Thank Grundo for Grubby's root stew. Okay, here goes. This time. Ow! Trudge, <laughs> you fool! Turn it off! Lot of them, we should be going ourselves. Yes, to the airship. Cast off the lines. Aye, aye, skipper. Strike the mizzen, eh, uh, eh, uh, man. 